Before we get into today's episode, here is a list of our sponsors. Thank you for your support. If you want to support the channel, we have t shirts and other merch right there in the description. Just hit the link. Before the air cool up, the solitude, the zigzag lightning, play the games in the universe. I know before there was a win or where, or a thin or there. I know, I know before the foundation of the earth was laid. My too. <laughs> And you'll find these uh, words recorded in verse 1 and 2. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I. And I heardest my voice. I would like to use for my subject the power of tears. The power of tears. Lord Jesus Christ, I worship you. I glorify you. I magnify you tonight. You are the best thing that has ever happened in my life. I love you humbly and gratefully because you have been so good to me. I want you to do something for every person seated here in this house of the Lord tonight. I don't want you to let a single person go out of here the way they came in here tonight. I want you to give them something to take home. Give them Whatever you see the need, and you know our needs better than we know ourselves. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ tonight, feed us with thyself, the food of the soul, so that we will come short in nothing. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, take care of your children. In the name of Jesus, Lord, feed your children tonight. Oh God, by the power of your righteousness and the word of your grace and by the workings of the Holy Ghost tonight, feed your children, God. Give them something to eat. Give them something to drink tonight. Give them healing for the body. Give them strength for the soul. Give them victory in the home. Give them victory on the job. Give them victory in the mind. Give them victory in the body. Oh God, give them victory everywhere they go. I ask all of these blessings. In the darling name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, and the glory shall be thine. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The power of tears. Jonah said, I cried, and the word cry here has reference to two uh, things. The cry, which means an oral above expression of the inner desires of a call out or a scream. Are a broken heart that brings tears from the eyes. Those are the two expressions for the word cry. One can cry with his voice, he can cry with his heart. When he cries with his heart, tears run down his face, for the heart at that point becomes broken. It has always been and always will be that thing that moves God is a broken heart called contract, a broken and contract heart. Tears moves God. Tears will move God much faster than dry eyes. 
There is such a thing as crying in your voice and not screaming, but it is not the same expression. It's a cry to God. It's a cry. And it's a special petition, a special approach that the Lord feels your compassion, a need, feels your cry, your longings, your broken heart, the, the, the burdens that you carry. If you ever burden, don't pull your hair out. That's the time to cry to God. If you're ever down, don't. That's not the time to go crawl in a hole and pull pity in on you. That's the time to cry. Don't ever let the opportunity to cry pass you by. That's an opportunity that doesn't come every day, because many of the people of God do not know how to cry ordinarily. They have to be forced into that kind of a situation. And yet there is such a thing as crying unto the Lord in an oral expression of one's voice. It's the way the voice is used. There's a cry in that voice for help. There's a cry in that voice for deliverance, there's a cry in that voice. It's more than just saying something. You're crying, praise the Lord. Crying always changes the condition, the situation. It touches anyone to hear another person cry. It stops you. If you're walking along the street and hear somebody crying, you, you look. And you want to stop, you want to find out what, what's the matter. You're drawn to that person. I remember when my mother would be angry with us and she said, I'm going to whoop you, boy. And she'd get herself some switches and tie them together, wrap them like you, plait. And mama would say, come on, lay across that chair. Praise the Lord. And I learned something. Don't be tough when you're getting a beat. Praise the Lord. <laughs> cry. Hurry up and cry. Praise the Lord. <laughs> cry right away before mom even touches. Start crying. <laughs> and I learned something that, that I could cry in such a way that that mama just couldn't take it. She'd hit me a few times. She'd say, get up from there, boy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> All crying will do it, you know. Praise the Lord. My, my brother in it was tough. She, mama said, you're not going to cry, huh? She said, oh. she, give it to him. You're not going to cry, huh? And when she got through with him, he would show me the whips. I didn't have those whips he had, but I cried. I, cried. <laughs> I got mama off of me, I cried. <laughs> oh, mama, mama, I'm not going to ever do that. No, no mama. <laughs> mama heard my cry, too. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and it's true also in the realm a spiritual life, in your spiritual life with God. You've got to learn how to cry. Don't be dry-eyed all the time. Learn how to cry. And those of you who are pressed to the point where you do cry and spend so much time until your eyes are swollen the next day and haven't prayed a lick, you miss something. All right. You miss something. I wouldn't cry all night over nothing without bringing Jesus into that situation. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you make me cry, I'm going to pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know what to do if you make me cry. 
And I'm not going to sit down and cock and put my head in my jaws and think evil about you. I'm going to pray. Because I know where my help comes from. Praise the Lord. I know where my help comes from. And I know how to get help. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ told his disciples one time, except you, talking to these men now, except you become as a little child, you cannot enter the kingdom. Now that word enter the kingdom does not relate to the millennium of going to heaven. It relates to the church of the Spirit of God. You cannot enter into the power of God. Except you come as a little child. Hallelujah. You come tough as you are, brother. You're going to be cold. Stiff and indifferent. you got to come as a little child. Some people ask me, what have been some of your secrets, Pastor? I have learned how to come as a child. No matter how old I am, when I come to Jesus, I'm a child. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm not a man. I'm a child. Thank you, Jesus. And when you come as a child, you can get what you want. Maybe that's why some of y'all can't get nothing. You come in as a grown woman. You come in for Jesus saying, I'm grown. Jesus said, all right, come as a child. Praise the Lord. Come in for Jesus, a grown man. Come on, I don't cry for nobody. You won't get nothing either. Amen. But Jesus said, except you come as a child. And he didn't just say child, a little child. Come as a little child. Not a great big child. Come as a child. And I'll open the kingdom for you. Hallelujah. Don't come telling me you are 60, 75 years old. Come saying I'm a child. Come with the spirit of a child. And what does a child can mama, can I have this? Praise the Lord. And if mama say no, that child will steal from ego. Praise the Lord. Mama, I told you you can't have it. And you find another way to come at her. Jesus said, you come as a little child. If you knock on this door one time and I don't open it, you come on back and knock again. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. For he that knocketh the door shall be open. He that seeketh, find it. Come as a child. Learn how to cry to your parent. Jesus Christ is your father. He's your God. He's your mediator. He's your high priest. He's your friend. He's your doctor. Anybody holds an important position like that, you ought not to mind crying to that person. Somebody who can do anything. Who can deal with any problem in any situation. You should mind talking to that person in a humble way. Praise the Lord. Come as a little child. And Jesus said, you will enter. You will enter the kingdom. You will get the power you're looking for. I'm going to give it to you. But you're going to have to come looking for it as a child. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I think that some people are spiritually dead because they don't know how to go to God. That's right. Spiritually dead. I don't see myself sitting in church being spiritually dead. Hallelujah. I can't rationalize with that. Hallelujah. I can't get that together. Praise the Lord. As long as I know how to talk to Jesus, I'm not going to be dead nowhere in the church, nor in the home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because I know how to go to Jesus. Hallelujah. I know how to approach the mercy seat. I know how to call heaven, and heaven knows how to smile on me. I know how to knock, and the door shall be open. Praise the name of God. And I say to the board of apostles and bishops and elders many times, praise the Lord, no wonder we are so dead. I said to them, the deadest place in the church is the pulpit. You hardly ever find the Holy Ghost falling on the pulpit. The Holy Ghost fall out in the congregation. Praise the Lord, because we so starch him. 
We so uptight and bigoted and exotic. We feel because I'm the elder, I'm supposed to look different from everybody else. Right. But Jesus said to those disciples, No, you got to come as a little child. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And I'll open the kingdom of heaven and I'll pull you out of blessing. You won't have room enough to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in this thing for blessing. I'm not in here for no show. I'm not here for no fun. No fashion, no outside show to the world. I'm here to get a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to go up there clothes. I want to hear him say, well done. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. And that good and faithful, sir. Hallelujah. You've been faithful over a few things. And I'll make you ruler over many things. Enter ye into the joys of the Lord. Hallelujah. The reason why the Lord has blessed me so is because I know how to talk to him. I know how to approach him. I know how to get from him what I want. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord told me uh, 19, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, he said, anything you ask me, I'll do it. Walk up like the before. Keep my word in your heart. And everywhere you go, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to set before you an open door. And no man is going to shut it. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. And the Lord has kept his word to me. Thank you, Jesus. And every once in a while, he reminds me. He reminds me. I promise to bless you. But you're going to have to do your part in order to get this blessing. You're not just going to get it because I promise it to you. I promise it to you. My promise is right. But you're going to have to do what you're supposed to do in order to get it. That's what he told me. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And I know how to break my heart. And I know how to cry. Praise the name of God. I don't have a world for those troubles. Praise the name of God. I don't have a world for the headaches. My headaches are somebody else's headaches. My troubles are somebody else's troubles. Praise the name of God. I have to cry for other people. I haven't got nothing to cry about for myself. Praise the Lord, and every morning I can break my heart because I hear enough problems from this one, that one, and the other one to cry because somebody needs to cry. The Bible said in Old Testament times, whenever Israel got in trouble, sin for those crying women. Never say crying men, crying women. There was only one crying man in the Old Testament, and his name was who? Jeremiah. Every other prophet was a talking prophet. Jeremiah was a crying prophet. Praise the Lord. He cried and he knew how to get into heaven. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He lived in that age and time that a preacher needs to pray and cry at the same time. And there comes a time in all of our lives we need to learn how to cry. And the Lord will open the windows of heaven and pull you out blessings that you will not be able to receive. We are accustomed to getting on our knees and hollering at Jesus for five minutes and get up and go on about our business. That's not the way to pray. Praise the Lord, you've got to cry to him. And I don't mean you have to have tears running all the time. Let the soul cry. Let the mind cry. Oh, hallelujah. Let Jesus see you down there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You might not open your mouth, but he's looking on the heart. Hallelujah. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Oh, hallelujah. When I can't take no more, lead me to the rock that's higher than I. Who is that rock? Jesus. When my pressure is so high, when my frustrations are so much uh, uh, perplexing and I'm so disturbed and so many things are going wrong, what are you going to do now? Lead me to the rock. I know where to get relief from. I know how 
tried to get that relief. I tried him and he never failed me yet. I called him, he never said no. I knocked at the door and the door swings open. Thank you, Jesus. I learned from 21 years to 60. If you learn how to cry, you can learn how to win the victory. If you learn how to humble yourself, you got a miracle coming. Hallelujah. While others are dying, you are living because your heart is covered with the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. One of these days, I've made up in my mind if there's nobody but me, I'm going to be a living soul. Not a dead soul. The Lord will make a way for you. Oh, yes, Lord. The Lord will do things for you. How come I'm a Yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And I sincerely believe that a lot of our troubles is the results of the Lord trying to teach us how to cry. Praise the Lord. He's trying to teach us how to cry. We haven't learned yet. And our troubles have come to teach us how to cry. Praise the Lord. And you're not getting the message. Instead of crying to him, you're crying to everybody else. Praise the Lord. Honey, they can't help you. Oh, hallelujah. You're on the telephone to the wrong person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You spent in two hours to get a comfort from Sister Mary and Sister Jane. You, you, you're talking to the wrong people. You need to spend two hours talking to Jesus. Praise the Lord. And when you get off that heaven telephone, you say, Sister Mary and Sister G, gee, I don't need you. Praise the Lord. I've got the answer. Oh, hallelujah. Christ is the answer. You've got to know how to get to him. Because he's waiting to listen to what you got to say, honey. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. I said I'm going to let you out of here. Praise the name of our God. And I didn't get into the message yet. Jonah said, I cried. Um, by, I cried by reason of mine affliction. That's how I cried. He said, I cried by reason of mine affliction. I cried according to the way I felt. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> That's the way I cried. And how did you cry, Jonah? Well, you can listen to this and tell about how he cried because he said I was in hell. <laughs> At any time you're in hell, honey, you need to cry. Hallelujah. Hey! Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And some of you in hell, honey. You hear me? You in hell. You said that, Pastor, but I'm not in hell. I'm not in no fire. But you in hell. It ain't no fire that burns your fingers. But it's sure burning your mind. Praise the name of God. It's upsetting your equilibrium. Driving you up a wall. Anytime something drives you up a wall, you in hell. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anytime something don't let you get a prayer through, you in hell. Anytime something vex you so until you don't have no peace of mind, you in hell. Every time you look at something and nothing is changing, it can get no better, you in hell. And you're not in hell for, for vacation, you in hell to learn something. Now, if you want to get out of hell, start crying. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, sir. talking to somebody else. Yeah. Right. Stop complaining. Right. Stop complaining. Right. And start crying. Right. And the Lord say, I'll hear you. Right. I will deliver you. Right. I'll set you free. Right. I'll give you the victory. Right. Praise the name of God. Somebody got to start crying. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Somebody got to break up your heart. Oh, yes, Lord, somebody got to break your spirit. 
Thank you, Jesus. Break your spirit. Your spirit has never been broken yet. And the Lord has sent trouble to break that spirit. And you find the trouble instead of thanking God. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I don't understand why this thing is upon me. But you know what's good for me. You know the way I take it. That's what the writer said. And he said, when I'm trying to, I shall come forth as pure gold. I know that this thing is of God. This is not of man's making. This is God's making. The devil hasn't got nothing to do with this. This is God's will. Mm -hmm. It's so much of God's will until the man of God said, though he slay me. As if though God was doing the beating. But God wasn't doing the beating. The Lord would let the devil do the beating. And God stood by and watched the devil beat his servant. Oh, hallelujah. He stood there and watched the devil just beat on Job. He beat him and kicked him. He spat on him. He scarred him. He scandalized him. The Lord just stood by and looked at him. Oh, hallelujah. And Job started looking for God. He said, I feel for him, but I can't touch him nowhere. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I wait, but I don't get no answer. Job said, I go forward, but he's not there. I take a step backward, but he is not there. Oh, where is my God? Satan sitting right by Job, whispering in his ears, telling him, man, curse God and die. Backslide. I wouldn't serve a God who wouldn't help me. I wouldn't serve a God who wouldn't make a way for me. But Job said, I know God. And I know he works in strange ways. He works in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. Hallelujah. I know I'm saved. And I know I'm a child of God. But I don't know why all of these troubles are coming my way. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait on it. Until my change comes. I'm not going to the root workers. To find out who put something in there. Hallelujah. I'm not going to the green hand man to find out who put something before my doorstep or who put something on my bed. I'm not going looking for help nowhere because I know where my help comes from. Oh, my help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. I know where my help comes from. And just because I can't get none right now, it doesn't mean my help is cut off. There is a problem somewhere. But I tell you what, I'm going to cry it out. I'm going to cry to the Lord my God. Because I know he is supposed to hear my cry. Oh, in my past times, when I broke my heart, he heard my cry. When I was raising my children, they went bad sometimes. But I cried to the Lord, and he adjusted their mentality. He brought them around to the right way. I cried when I was down in the valley. God brought me out. When the friend forsook me, the Lord picked me up. And now, I'm in a situation where I don't know where to turn. My wife will turn her back on me. My children are dead. I've lost all my wealth. And I'm dying a poor man. But I got news for you. Hallelujah. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me, One day, 
moved until hell get out your house cry some more until the joy